Welcome back. Today I've got something a little different for you. This is a product that I found on a yard sale score for $1. It's not Lego, but it is Lego compatible, and it's what you see behind me right here. It's this Think Geek build on brick mug, and I thought it'd be fun to do a video on this, open it up, and share it with you today. So I guess the first question is, what the heck is this thing? And it's just what it seems. It's a coffee mug, but it's made of plastic, and it's got studs on the side that you can actually attach Lego pieces on. As you can see down here, it says, what will your mug become? And if I flip this around, there's a good look at the side of it, and we'll be unboxing this thing, or unpackaging it. It says, build on brick mug, bring along a handful of your favorite building bricks, and tinker with a creation. Personalize your mug with most major brick sets. What will your mug become? It's BPA-free plastic, holds 12 ounces, hand wash only, which is a bummer, and contains one mug, building bricks not included. Hey, I, I was wishing they were, but oh well. This product is not a toy, but to me, I think it is. As you can see, there's a little bit of damage up here, but I figure for a dollar, what can you really expect? I'm gonna break into this, if, if it will allow me to. I don't plan to keep any of the packaging or anything, but uh, there it is. So some sides, you have it so you'd put the bottom on this so you can actually have it sitting on the side. I think on the back here, they showed this thing on wheels, which I thought was kind of cool. And then this side, more traditionally, you'd stack the Legos on the sides of that. It's got a handle on it. It's a pretty decent size, I suppose. Here's what the inside looks like. Pretty standard. I can't see any part of this that would be comfortable to actually drink out of because it should be kind of rounded, I would think. But this has, you know, the, the traditional Lego style sides on it. But uh, there's the bottom, so you can actually stack this thing up on something or put it on top of Legos to keep it secure. It's not going to fall over. You can put stuff on the handle all around the outside, personalize it, make it your own. And that's just what we're going to do right now. I've got this random bag of Lego here. This is from the $2 Lego mystery bucket video. If you haven't seen that, that's another yard sale score that I've made in the past, which was pretty awesome. I'll put a link to that in the description. But we're going to try this out and stack some things on here and just dump all this out. Let's just start on the side and see how this works out. I'll start with just a regular piece. We'll see if, if it goes on here properly. What in the heck? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? This thing is not compatible. I mean, I have this lined up perfectly. Not working there. Let's try something smaller. Maybe it's not like in the size of that. Oh man, that's, that's terrible. That is not going on. Let's try over here. Let's try the front. Okay, so it works on the front there. Let's try this one on the front. See how this works. Okay, so that works there. Why are they not working on the bottom? Let me try a random piece here. Okay, so that, that piece worked. Definitely isn't the, the quality that you'd expect of Lego, that's for sure. Is it the bigger pieces that don't work? Is that what the problem is here? Yeah, that's totally not fitting on there. I'd say this thing has some false advertising going on. But nonetheless, let's try this on a different spot as well, see if this works. Okay, so it works there. I mean, that's working just fine on the front piece. Let's try, let's try a small one here on the bottom. Okay, so all these small ones are working, it's just the longer ones. It must be that the dimensions are off by just a slight, small, small amount. And that's causing this to not work with larger pieces on this side. I'm going to try it on this side once with a larger piece. Let's just try it with this. Again, to totally not working. Look at that. That is really disappointing, but again, I'm sure if I put it on like the bottom here, works out just fine. If we go back to the box here, they have stuff on the sides. It's relatively smaller stuff, but still they have stuff there. It's not like that's not supposed to be meant for that. Yeah, I'm thinking that the problem is these aren't spaced properly because I can fit single line stuff like that, but it's the double line stuff that doesn't work. So like even over here, I've got a single line and I bet this will work as well. That's what it is. That's the problem. So they don't have these spaced properly. If I do anything that requires two side by side, it doesn't work. But if I do anything that's just one, works just fine. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty shoddy. So we know it works somewhat. I figure instead of ending it right now, why don't I throw more pieces on this and we'll see what kind of crazy thing I can make before I give you my final thoughts. Here's another thing I noticed while I was doing my little creation here. If you look at this, this is like super loose there. That does not want to fit anywhere. I don't know if that's the piece or what the situation is. Let me try it. Let me try it with just a regular piece once and we'll see how this works out. Yeah, it clicks in that super tight. So obviously the tolerances on this thing are pretty far off. And I think I've seen about enough of what I need to see here. 
You know, I usually don't walk away from my LEGO videos disappointed, but in this case, I don't know how you couldn't be disappointed with this product. This thing is just awful, even with all the cool stuff that I put on there. It's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible. You, the pieces don't fit on properly. These sides are screwed up. There's tolerances that are off everywhere. Pieces falling off of here. I showed you that piece that I couldn't get the stick properly anywhere on here. I mean, it's just so loose and awful. I thought it was a cool idea. It was, I mean, it's a great gimmick. It's fun, I guess, if you just make something and sit it around. I couldn't imagine actually drinking out of this thing. I mean, it's, it's just not comfortable. You probably end up with coffee all over the front of you if that's what you put in there or whatever whatever the case is. But uh, I give this thing uh, two thumbs downs. I think for a dollar I got ripped off. I checked on Amazon and this thing typically sells for between 10 and $15. So if you're thinking about getting one of these things, do not do it. This, this is just terrible, junk, disappointed, and I, I guess that's how we'll end the video. Disappointed. I just want to say one last thing before I end this video, one last takeaway, and it's that LEGO makes some really good quality products, and it's stuff like this that makes you appreciate this. This is not a LEGO product, and it's crap. So I think if LEGO made this, I would have been very impressed with it. I think it would have been a great product. It probably would have cost $30, but it would have been a good thing to have. In this case, this thing's just going to the trash.